Welcome back in. As we embrace the festive spirit of the season, there is no better way to celebrate than with a classic. The San Jose Nutcracker, a classical holiday ballet, brings to life the timeless tale of Clara and her magical nutcracker. Joining me on the couch today with all the fun details, we have Dahlia Rawson and Robert Mazzi. Thank you so much for being here. Thank, Thank you, you for having Thank us. Thank you for having us. This is such a fun collaboration, right? So I want you guys to speak to the newness of this year and what it's going to be like. Yeah. Well, um, I choreographed the San Jose Nutcracker in 2016, and we've been performing it ever since in San Jose. Wow. Uh, but this is the first year we're collaborating with Symphony San Jose, which is the leading professional orchestra in, in the Bay Area in San Jose. And we're just thrilled to be having their live music in the pit. It's going to be an incredible production. Yeah, it's going to add so much fun and excitement to the holiday spirit. Robert, what is it like for Symphony San Jose to be a part of this now? This is just so important for us. You know, Symphony San Jose had its roots as a ballet orchestra, mm. going back to the old um, ballet in, in San Jose. And for us to be able to kind of just bring this immortal Tchaikovsky score to life, it's just incredible music. And and, um, you know, as a father, you know, just the Nutcrackers always played such a special uh, uh, role in our holiday season. And mm -hmm. so we're just absolutely delighted to be a part of, of and joining New Ballet's production. Yes, wonderful. I feel like everyone has that Nutcracker experience. Like going with their parents, I went with my dad, and I remember he always bought me the red vines at the uh, concession <laughs> stand. So <laughs> it's just such good memories for people, the Nutcracker. Uh, can you speak, Dahlia, to the amount of time and the process that goes into putting on the Nutcracker? Well, in some ways we start looking at the next year's production as soon as we finish the previous mm -hmm. years. But um, it really is a special time for all of the dancers in the production. Um, we have uh, 22 professional dancers in the show, and then the cast is augmented by students from our wonderful school, the New Ballet School, mm -hmm. um, to make the cast of over 110 total. Wow. And we've been rehearsing um, since early September for the production. Wow, so it's it's a huge production. Of course, it takes it so is. many people, so much talent to make this happen. Uh, can you, again, Dahlia, just speak to the talent maybe of the dancers and, and the performers that will be in this production? We have a wonderful group of dancers from around the world. Um, we have a, a homegrown Sugar Plum Fairy who wow. trained in San Jose, uh, has danced with the company for many years, and will be dancing the role of Sugar Plum Fairy as well as Snow Queen and Clara. Her name is Naomi Lei. And we have dancers from as far away as, as Japan. Wow. Um, Tango Hayato Fujito Gomez is dancing the role of the Nutcracker Prince. We have alternating mm -hmm. casts. So we have an incredibly talented cast from around the world. And of course, our musicians in the pit. Um, it's just a wonderful opportunity to sort of look away from um, the troubles in the world and connect mm -hmm. with the family and our community at a, at a wonderful holiday experience. Yes, such a good way to celebrate the holidays and create memories for your own family. Robert, can you talk to us about the process of the decision to join in on this production and how exciting it was for Symphony San Jose? Yeah, well, I mean, we, we've wanted to partner, you know, with, with uh, New Ballet for, well, since I've been here for, for, for three years, um, I saw the production last year and just knew that this would be something that, that our musicians would, would love. And of course, um, you know, we are at home at the beautiful and majestic California Theater in downtown San Jose. And, you know, it just gets transformed during the holidays, you know, with Christmas trees and lights. And, you know, if you haven't been to the theater, it's a perfect time to, to, to do so and go uh, and bring your family. Um, you know, as, as a symphony, like I said, this is incredible music. And to be part of this great production, we just know that we're going to be making memories for, for just so many people for years to come. Yes, so wonderful. And what are some of those feelings that you hope people leave with after they see and hear this production? There's so much nostalgia in the Nutcracker. It takes me back to my childhood, both as a dancer and an audience member. Um, it's a story about family and love and dreams coming true and, and a young girl who makes her own dreams come true. And um, I think experiencing that together, experiencing the music and the ballet on stage as a family is something that really connects a family to each other and, and to the community at large. Yes. Yeah, it, it, it really is about, you know, creating these traditions. And, and, you know, Nutcracker is one of these these pieces that you can see year after year after year, and you always come away with something new that, that um, speaks to you. And, 
and, and so it's just, it's a, it's, there, it's, there's a reason it's a timeless classic. Yes, absolutely so. wonderful. This sounds so great. If people are watching today and they say, I have got to go out and see this, where can they find tickets and when is the production happening? Uh, tickets are available at newballet.com. Um, on our website, and the production runs from December 14th until the 23rd at the California Theater in San Jose. Okay, wonderful. Dolly and Robert, thank you both so, so much for being here today. Thank you for having us. Of course. To learn more about the San Jose Nutcracker and to get your tickets, you can visit newballet.com or symphonysanjose.org. Coming up after the break, if you're